there is one kind of fasting which is just the food fasting and I I understand that probably you are asking about just the food fasting but when we talk about fasting during certain special days as these nine days and nine nights are very special for sadhana when we talk about fasting then it's just not the food fasting that we talk about we also talk about the walk fasting which is the speech fasting the thought fasting yeah so fasting must happen at multiple even the fasting of the actions so ideally what is prescribed in these nine days if you can follow that observe food fasting and I always say you must observe food fasting the way your system allows there's no rights and wrongs in that because right and wrongs come from the egoistic state what matters really is the inner bhav inner inner space when you are observing fasting yeah so ideally whenever you do food fasting you must only follow the sattvic the absolute natural way of eating whatever little you want to eat or your body needs yeah so if you can sustain on just raw foods or raw vegetables or or liquids that's beautiful because what we are trying to do through food fasting is pouring much less burden on the system for digestion so that we have more energy available for sadhana that's what we want to achieve through food fasting yeah so whatever little your body needs to survive and sustain and be comfortable because if you make your body too agitated for lack of food it will take your senses away from your sadhana focus and the, the thoughts of food will come to your mind all the time which is then not healthy for sadhana yeah so simple is beautiful is the mantra here huh? that's about the food fasting I also suggest do speech fasting especially during those days because we lose a lot of energy through talking do speech fasting during these nine days speak only that which is essential whatever is non-essential you won't speak yeah three also do fasting of the senses primarily the eyes why eyes because we also release and lose a lot of energy through eyes we don't realize that but looking at the screens or looking at the books reading uh, and especially screens which are taking all your attention away we lose a lot of vital energy through that so during these nine days if you can if you can do fasting also do the fasting of the eyes which means what which means spend as much time as possible being in eyes closed movements so if you're sitting just sit with eyes closed if you're lying down lying down with eyes closed if you're walking don't walk with eyes closed that's dangerous uh -huh. if you're walking make sure that if your eyes are seeing they are seeing nature as much as possible because nature is revitalizing healing look at the trees look at the plants look at the birds look at the space look at the sky lie down look at the blue sky if you have to open eyes and look then look at that because these are vitalizing these are energy giving these are calming yeah so observe food fasting uh, fasting of the senses and last also observe fasting of the unnecessary action we do a lot of unnecessary action during the day yeah so observe yourself restrain unnecessary action if you're going to office if you're doing your professional work do that which is extremely essential if there are a few days in between you can take some time off that's even better yeah so these are some of the ways for fasting and when you do this fasting hopefully the thought fasting will start start to happen on its own <laughs>